The Game Awards are tomorrow. Always an exciting time of the year. This year's Game of the Year lineup is something really special. So we took each nominee and gave them their own cocktail. Here we go. Next up, what? Oh yeah, that didn't, that didn't come out. It's, it's the other helmeted hero. We'll see you next year, Chief. I'm super excited to see Doom Eternal on the Game of the Year list. It's a classic that goes back to when I was a kid. To go along with a game as fast-paced and hard-hitting as Doom, we needed a cocktail that was just as satisfying a kick in the face as the game is. So we come up with a little variation on the classic Negroni. We're going to start off with some ice. And we need one ounce of gin. One ounce of Amaro. One ounce of Patron XO. I'm gonna stir a lot. I'm gonna strain that ice out. Give it a little neon kick, just like our favorite gun. A BFD in a tiny package. Next up is Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's no surprise this game has been such a hit as the original is still a fan favorite decades later. This drink is going to be all about the magic. First, we're going to need to start with some ice. And then, an ounce and a half of vodka. That's going to go right in there. This next part is going to take a little bit of patience. We're going to want to gently pour our blue syrup over a spoon so that we can kind of float it in Gently get it into the vodka. Finally giving it a chance to move through the ice in the glass helps it get to the vodka a little easier. Next we're going to continue floating with a little white chocolate liqueur. Find a little bit of floating, some cream. We're gonna get some clouds to form as we stir this mixture a little bit. And there you have it, your very own Tandara. Smooth, sweet, with just a tiny little electrifying kick. Next up, if you couldn't tell by my outfit, we have Hades. Bit of a surprise this year from Supergiant Games, although no surprise at all to fans of their past work. Wanted to bring you something a little spicy, a little hot, in keeping with the game's theme, so we have a mango habanero margarita. Again, we're gonna to wanna to start with some ice. And then two ounces of tequila, silver tequila of your choice. If you want to switch it up or add a smoky flavor, you could also try a little bit of mezcal. And one ounce of lime juice. One ounce of mango puree. Get the good stuff. Alternatively, you can take some frozen mango, blend that up a little bit. 
you have a hard time finding the puree. So an ounce of that. And a half ounce of agave syrup. You can do a little more of either the agave or the mango if you want it a little bit sweeter. And then we're gonna to top it off with a splash of habanero. Alternatively, you can use some habanero bitters. Cap that off, give it a nice shake. If you wanna make it even spicier, you can rim your glass with your favorite red pepper. Hit it with a little bit of cayenne here. There you have it, spicy mango margarita that would make Bacchus proud. And just like Hades, when your glass is empty, you get to do it all over again. Crossing New Horizons has been an insane hit, not only in my household, but across the entire world. I have more hours in that game than I'd like to admit. You know, no, I'm proud of the hours I have in Animal Crossing. I'm gonna bring those delicious fruity island flavors into a refreshing drink that would be suitable on any island. The amounts we're using should be enough for two servings, but if you wanna try to cut those in half, feel free. I'm using a little extra frozen peaches instead of uh, fresh peach. We're going to be using some ice in there too. So we're going to throw that in the blender. Some ice in there. Do about three ounces of rum for two servings. Lopez or other coconut syrup. I'd like to try it with some coconut milk creamer. Two ounces of cocoa Lopez for two servings. An ounce of simple syrup. A few dashes of cherry bitters. So many bells I be stacking, slingshot I be packing. Who you think you playing with? My island be cracking. So many bells I be stacking, slingshot I be packing. Who you think you playing with? My island be cracking. If you slide into my island, boy, my plug you got the peaches. In real life, I'm inside. Got the beaches. How you passing time? Some might read a book. I be in negotiations with Tom Nook. I'm getting stung by like a hundred bees planting me a money tree. What the fuck you want, boy? You ain't having much fun. There's me trying to trade. I don't need that. Fuck out of here with your seat bass. Kick back. Relax. Take a break. You know, before you go redo your entire island for the 55th time. Enjoy. Yeah, got so many bells. I be stacking. Don't worry about what you were talking about. Who you think you playing with? My island. Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost was definitely one of my favorite games of the year and one that I can't wait to get back to. We actually came up with this cocktail back when the game came out, so I'm really excited that we get to bring this to you now. I'm gonna start with some ice. Your shaker cup, and we're gonna do two ounces of Japanese whiskey.
one ounce of plum sake, two dashes of Tangostora bitters. Then you need a cinnamon stick and a blowtorch. Want to be safe when you're making your cocktail. Want to get your cinnamon stick nice and crisp. Technique even Jin himself would approve of. Last of us, not least. We have a cocktail for Last of Us Part 2. I was a huge fan of the first game and can't wait to get into this sequel. But you know what? What did it feel like the last of us? Straight shot of bourbon. That's it. I mean, what else is left? Alright, alright, we'll add some stuff to it. Start with some ice. Need after all that crunch, am I right? And there you have it. A cocktail for each Game of the Year nominee. Let me know what your Game of the Year is down below, which of these cocktails you're going to try first, and if you'd like to see more videos like these. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.